Hey, what's up guys? We're doing another mini golf course review this week. We're at Farmington Mini Golf in Farmington, Connecticut, right outside of Tunxis. Literally, Tunxis is right there. So let's go out and play. Farmington Mini Golf is a family owned and operated mini golf course right off of the main strip next to Tunxis Golf Course. It's been owned and operated since 1962. The first thing you'll notice when you come to this place is its old timey feel. From the classic cars to the classic layout, even the ice cream parlor looks like it's something from back in the 1950s. Each hole is unique and has its own challenge, and trust me, you don't want to overthink these. But at the same time, you don't want to take them too lightly either. It's very affordable and it's great for kids. Every hole has something unique to offer, so you're going to have a different experience every time you go there. Oh, and try the ice cream. They've got those little flavor blast things in the soft serve. It's really good. And the thing that I like the most is the fact that they treat you like family there. Great atmosphere, great mini golf. So I hope you guys enjoy this review of Farmington Mini Golf in Farmington, Connecticut. I can already tell you right now, this is one of those like feel good places where like this is this is what I expect when I when I come to a mini golf course, like little things. You'll see what I mean. Look at that, T markers. Why can't everybody have that? As you can see, I have brought a Callaway ERC Super Soft, and I got my putter. So. Let's try to get under par. Can you imagine if I get a hole in one first shot? And here we go. Nothing. Not even close. It came over here. That was bad. Oh, that was bad. Okay. All right, for what, maybe bogey? Yep. All right, it's called the lighthouse. Let's not mess this one up this time. Well, I didn't mess it up, but it could have been potentially bad. Okay, here we go. Get that in. Looks like that's a par. See that? Don't hit it in the flowers. Got to go get another one. And it's all the way over there. So you can either go in here, which will bring you over there, which is not good. You go down here, which is just about jackpot, or you go the long way. I'm gonna try for this one. Oh yeah, look at this. Freaking windmill. Now you know it's a mini golf course. Go. Go. Nope, missed it. Yeah, we're gonna self-paw this one. So we got my right hand on the camera. Do this and tap it in. Oh nope. Nope, not at all. Wait. That was horrible. Okay. And off the wall. Over here. No, but guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this little move right here. And completely miss. Here we go. So 
So according to this, I have to get it down one of the big holes, which will lead to the little hole. And I think it's the front one. All right, let's see. Front hole. There it is. There it is. All right, let's see where it goes. Hole in one. I hate this game sometimes. Let me just take this and... That's right, Rockstar. Dude, if David Bowie ever designed a hole, this would be it. Looks like Labyrinth. So there's actually three different approaches, all right? You can either go the, the squiggle, you're not making this a one-shot way. You can go the long way, which you possibly potentially have a shot to make. And then you could go up the hill and hopefully get it off to the right and maybe go in the hole. So let's see what happens. All right, let's see what happens. Want it? Yes, okay. And? No, but that looks like the safest approach. All right, let's see if I can get... I think this is for birdie. I'm not even sure. That's right, Rockstar. work with that okay the two which is par oh no three bogey look at that got a castle So wishing well, and I have no idea which way it goes. I'm going middle. You went left. I... Oh, all right. Oh. Okay. I have to hit this one lefty, so uh, my putter is going to try something. That almost worked, and now I know that for next time. All right, in for three. Let's go. A mini golf course that actually enforces a drop rule if you get it in the water. Interesting. All right, let's see. Just gotta bounce it over the water. Made it. Up, over. Oh! Almost. So close, and now so far away. I'm gonna go for a swim. There's a pool right there for me. Somebody just won a free game. Somebody just won a free game. That is cool. Hopefully I do that. Anyway, let's put this one in for two. That's right, Rockstar. We got a doghouse with a flap on it. Okay. All right, go for the middle. And uh, through that little hole. Hold on. Okay. And oh yeah, let's go. Hole in one. Good dog. This hole is the um, I don't know, but it looks difficult. Aim for that. Brick Bank right shot. there. Bank shot. Bank shot. Aim for the brick. Wait. This way? Banked it the wrong way. Wish we had better aim than I did. Oh, I used a bit. Yeah. This hole is unnecessary. This hole is unnecessary. Okay, a loop-de-loop -loop hole. All right, get it up and around and into the hole right there. Let's see if I can do it. Could we? Maybe, maybe possibly. No, okay, I th oh wait, no, it does bank. 
it does come down. Not a lot though, but it does come down. Okay, I'll take that. And nope, so let's, uh, oh, okay, a little helicopter thing. Let's tap this in for three. Boom, okay. Hey, somebody get Bryce in. There's an ant. Only true golfers will understand that reference. Uh, it's in the narrows. It's in the hole. Oh, yeah. You gotta get it through that little narrow part, and it looks like it would be golden. It worked, but it wasn't in. Here we go for two. That's right. Pick up ball after sixth stroke. Does that mean I'm going to rage quit? Uh, hopefully it doesn't take six strokes, but let's try it. Oh, it might take six strokes. Oh, oh, there's no return over here. Okay, that explains it. You see what I'm going for right here? Do you see the idea? It's not going to work, but I want to try it. But I don't want to try it. But I'm going to just go right over this hump right here. Because look, it's going to go right in. Just like that. See that? Look, nice and easy. And that is going to come out. I'm going to wait for it to stop. And then tap that MF in for three. All right, 18. It's called the church. It's probably because you need Jesus after this game. Nope. Okay, ended on a four. All right, 19th hole, the bonus hole, and this is where we do the old switcheroo and take out the ball that they gave me. Will I make it? I don't know. All right, if I make this, I will take a video and shout out every subscriber I've got. Well, guess not. Still love all you. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's nice. Well, all right, guys. That does it for Farmington Mini Golf here in Farmington, Connecticut. Let's get back and do the review. All right, guys, let's get into the score for Farmington Mini Golf in Farmington, Connecticut. First, I want to say I'm really happy I started doing these mini golf reviews because it, I'm basically in a nutshell. If you see a mini golf review, that means I was way too busy during the weekend to get out and actually play around. I'm not able to get out and play during the week as much anymore because I've got uh, personal things going on at home and, uh, you know, times are tough. But do you have mini golf, which only takes like an hour. So today's Monday, which is, you know, why I'm saying that, you know, it's Saturday. I was really, really busy. Sunday, I was busy and Sunday, I, I couldn't get out. Saturday, I definitely couldn't get out. But if you see a mini golf course review on the channel, it's a filler. Okay. But I still love doing them. It adds a little bit of pizzazz to the channel. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> and by the way, I also do want to apologize for two weeks ago, Stony Brooks review. The music was just awful. I'm thinking of not doing music anymore. Notice I did not put music in last week or on this video. So I'm wondering if maybe that's going to make a difference as far as the, the quality goes. Cause me, choosing music is hard, and I keep getting copyright claims, so, oh well. But anyway, let's get into the course, the actual course of you. It's a 7.5. we got a new leader. I really like it, and you're going to think I'm crazy when I start giving uh, out some of the uh, mini, like the, 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 the sub scores, I guess you can call them. Because if anybody's ever played there before, you're going to be like, Chris, dude, it's, there's nothing there. There, no. No. All right. First off, let's rate the staff. I'm going to give them an eight. I talked to Pat 
Uh, he was a really nice guy. Was telling me how they how he got into the the course and everything. He was showing me the merchandise. Uh, and he showed me his his brother who was out doing the the mini or not the the he was basically maintaining the course, watering the plants, watering the trees, doing the little ancillary things, taking the flower petals and putting them back into the garden. You know, all, all the, the tiny stuff that it takes to maintain a mini golf course. Because believe it or not, it's tough. You know, especially when you got kids there. You know, with a mini golf course, there's going to be more of the public that don't really care. So you got to make sure that it's nice and clean and tidy. And these people do a very good job at that. So I, I also met Pat's wife. I can't remember her name, but they were all very nice people. And I had a very good interaction with them. The girl that was inside of the ice cream parlor was very nice, too. We were uh, we were treated very nicely there. And we were given our ice cream on time. So you know what? Eight. Eight is a good score for the staff. I'm going to give the course conditions a seven because it was very clean. But at the same time, it's uh, not really a lot that I had to worry about. You know, there weren't a lot of sticks around or any leaves around. It was very clean. There was no garbage. The thing is, and believe it or not, they had the tee box markers, but they were kind of worn out. I'm, I'm not going to lie. They were kind of worn out. And then the holes, they're not like edged i guess you could say they like they like dip into the the carpet dips into the hole so it kind of makes like aiming for the proper part of the cup a little bit more difficult and i feel like the holes are smaller i don't know why so um the thing that i, I wish is that i i wish that the signs could tell you what the par is for the for the hole uh they there's no information. There's no like layout of the hole or anything like that. It just it's a flag with the number on it and uh, and a little podium part so you can like mark on the scorecard. So I I wish they could have done that. Otherwise, it's not bad. There's only one water situation, and they actually have you like scoop the ball out with a with a ball retriever if it goes into the water and they actually count it as a as a penalty drop so that's pretty interesting as well otherwise you know what not not bad there's nothing to complain about but there's nothing to glorify you know what i mean so that's why i'm going to give it a seven the scenery and this is another one that's going to get people this is going to get a seven as well because there's not a lot there there's actually very few there but the little that they have, they made it work. And what I mean by that is, I mean, there's no elaborate, giant, you know, structures or anything like that. The biggest one was the lighthouse and the windmill and maybe the church. But the thing that I will give credit to is that it looks like they're all hand built. I give that credit. The castle looked really cool. The, the fact that they use these, they're like the big, heavy, like, uh... I'm not going to say concrete brick, but it's like that heavier rock material. And the ball bounces really nicely off of that material. And the the holes just look really cool. A lot of them, it's just like there's a lot of intricate planning that went into this. And I really like just how the area molded in with the scenery as well. But at the same time you look at it from the street and you wouldn't know it's there because it's tiny. It's not like, it's not animated. It's not projected or anything. You know, it's kind of tucked away in the woods, but it gives off a really old timey feel. You know what I mean? A very old timey mini golf course. Dude, I marked out when I saw the, the windmill. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought that was great. So, you know what? No, I'm gonna boost it up. I'm gonna boost it up to an eight. I'm gonna boost the scenery up to an eight. You know why? Because I just... It was a really, it was a feel good course. And then you've got the, the, the hut where, you know, the, the, you pay for your round. There was a really nice old car outside and including an old milk truck. And then on the other side where the count or the, the ice cream house is, it's like, it's like an old country house, but there was that little like golf ball structure bike holder with that little tiny bike in there. And I just really liked it. It isn't a lot, but it gives you that old timey feel good mini golf like almost like you're back in the 50s or 60s one of those places you know and i don't know when this place was built but it gives off that feeling like you know what this is an old timey place i like it here you know it's it's i'd go back 
So scenery is going to get boosted to an eight. I'm going to give the layout. The layout's the tough one because I'm kind of tilted between a, a seven and an eight right now, only because boy, is it difficult. Is it difficult to follow? I'm not saying that the, the actual layout of the course is difficult to follow. I'm talking about the layout of the holes, man. You don't, you're, you're hitting blind sometimes. And that also builds in with the difficulty, which is a six. Uh, you're hitting blind in a lot of shots. You know, the way that they have structured this course, there's so many options for every single hole. The actual layout of the course is very easy. I mean, it's one hole after another, and it's very well marked and everything. And there's there's no doubt that, you know, you're not, you're not going to get lost there. It's absolutely, there's no way you can get lost. There's no way that you can get confused as to what hole's here or what hole's there. Everything's marked properly. I like it. It's very nice. But these, these hole layouts, the way that they actually constructed them. That's the interesting part, man. We have looping holes. We've got holes that go through castles and churches. You got that one wishing well hole where you hit it and you don't know where it's going to go. You've got the, the windmill, which is pretty straightforward. You've got some simple holes that you would think are going to be simple and they're not. Let me tell you, I'm very impressed. So, great job to whoever built that course. Because, man... I like it. I really like it. So, uh, seven for the layout. And then, you know what? Difficulty it was probably a six because it was it was a pretty tough course. It, depending on where you hit the ball. I mean, I had shots bounce right back to me. You saw that. Uh, the ball will bounce out of the hole. It will bounce straight into the hole. It will bounce around. It's okay, though, because challenges you and i had a pro putter and a you know like a real putter and, and, and a real golf ball and it was still bouncing all over the place so but you'll like it you'll like the round so i suggest going 7.5 for farmington mini golf try the ice cream too it's really good they actually have the the flavor boosted in the in the soft serve and if you guys get the chance go and check out the glow ball i actually might try to do that because i think it's going to be fun so I had a great time, guys. Hope you really, I really hope you enjoyed the video because I enjoyed making this one. And we will get back to regular golf courses very soon. Don't worry, guys. Like I said, I'm just busy. But until then, I'm Chris with CT Golf Reviews and Mini Golf Reviews, and I will see you next week.